The Columbus American Marketing Association. Marketers connect. It is the big game ad review wrap up. I'm sitting here with Amy Dawson and Jason Clayton. Got a bag full of popcorn. Help yourself, Amy. Got it. I know you're not doing no, carbs, but no. not even for the camera. No. Okay. <laughs> I'm not either, but when in Rome. Um, let's talk about the, you know, some of the big ideas that we discussed today. Um, Jason, you said it is the year of the emotional ad. Yes. You know, obviously, you know, you had the Ram ad, you had the Oprah ad with the Jeep, and then also the Clydesdale that was really kind of tying into everyone's emotions, and I think people could really relate to that. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think those scored extremely high this year. Yeah. Um, and then we were also talking about how there was just like this middle range of a lot of them that just didn't even fit in or, you know, get any attention. Just not a whole lot of uh, uh, innovation. Correct. Really. Yeah. Right. What did right. you think, Amy? Um, I agree. I also thought it was the year of the big epic spot as well, where we had lots of um, big productions, lots of venues, a lot of talent, a lot of um, special effects. I think that also was a, a theme that we saw this year. Um, but I, I would agree about the emotion, and I think that's what made some of those spots more successful than others, is they captured our, our hearts and our minds when we watched them. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, Super Bowl ads always get a lot of attention, especially the funny ads. We're always looking for that one that everybody's going to be laughing at. Humor-wise, what stood out for you? Um, Humor-wise, I think the Taco Bell one stood out for me. Uh, I think the uh, Tide one, uh, Joe Montana, mm -hmm. stood out for me. Um, I think humor-wise that stood out for a lot of people is the GoDaddy one. I think it got generated a huge amount of buzz um, before the actual event itself, but I think uh, once people saw it, it, it was just it was a little weird uh, in people's minds. Okay. And what about um, social media, engaging the audience and kind of, you know, getting them involved? Well, obviously we had the success with the Oreo campaign, which was so great because they took a negative and made it into a huge positive. With the power outage. With the power outage yeah, and be yeah. able to, so we, you can still dunk your Oreo when, it, when it's dark out. So mm -hmm. that, that was brilliant. And we were talking about how cool is that, that they actually had both, you know, the agency representatives and the Oreo people in the same room where they could make that decision real quick and, exactly. and kind of kick that out right yeah. away. That was really cool. And, you know, I keep going back to this, but the Doritos things I think are, are pretty successful considering it doesn't cost them a lot to shoot it. It's all kind of... Uh, uh, from comes from all their demo, meaning all their customers are sending in information and ideas, and that's how they generate their spots. So mm -hmm. all in all, I think they do a pretty good job with that. Very cool. And uh, one last question. Uh, the God Made a Farmer ad, which is probably the most talked about ad the morning after. Sure. Would you agree, Amy? Yes, I would agree. And why is that so successful? Why is everybody talking about that? I mean, I don't even think most, most people who are talking about it know who Paul Harvey is. Right, right. I think it was successful for a number of different reasons. Uh, the format they used, um, uh, all voiceover, they used no music, they used stills. It was two minutes long, which I think also uh, helped a lot. Um, I think they're talking about a subject that everybody is familiar with. We know how farmers are struggling in the United States. It's not a, it's not a field or a category that a lot of people choose to pursue anymore. And I think it w wasn't so much about selling the RAM, it was about showing how the brand supports uh, the people that help support us and feed us every day. So I think it was nice from that point of view. Great. Thank you very much. You're I appreciate it. Thanks, Jason. Yep. You guys help yourself. Thanks to the AMA. We'll see you next year at the Big Game Ad Review. For more information on the Columbus AMA, visit our website at columbusama.org.